thermal energy storage is one form of storage. And to manage, to manage peaks in heating and cooling, one method is to store hot or cold water in insulated tanks to use when demand is increasing. So say, for example, when there's not enough sun to provide enough energy into the grid from solar energy, that's when you would use thermal energy from these heated or cooled tanks, basically like a big battery. This works when a material gains energy when increasing its temperature, and then it loses energy when it decreases its temperature. The most common application for thermal energy is in thermal energy storage systems used in solar thermal systems. Now, a massive increase worldwide over the past decade in the production of solar and wind, which is intermittent, has meant there's a huge demand on actually storing all that energy, not letting it go to waste. As a, as a result, companies have been working on massive energy storage systems. Well, now the world's first thermal energy storage gigafactory has officially opened. It's actually located in a desert in Israel. Israel is incredibly good at using the desert to do all kinds of things. In fact, it's irrigated much of its deserts to use for food production. This thermal energy storage factory is expected to hit full capacity by the end of this year. Hello, my friends. Welcome to the channel. This is the future of energy, energy storage. How do we do it cost effectively? Great to see you. Thank you for tuning in and thank you for subscribing to the channel. Great to have so many new subscribers on the channel. Welcome to all of you. Welcome back everyone else. Over the past 24 months since we started this channel, we've done more than 3,250 videos. There's a lot of information there for people to learn all about renewable energy and the future of not only renewable energy, but the automotive market. All of this is changing at an insane pace. Just an unprecedented speed. Israel's Bramilla Energy has announced the opening of a gigafactory to manufacture the company's thermal energy storage systems. These store power as heat, then they provide users with energy on demand via steam. The company believes it to be the first factory in the world of its kind. It's actually incredible how many people in Israel have created startup companies to manufacture things like this. One of those is Stordot, who claim to have Tesla-like 4680 battery cells that have significantly more energy storage than Tesla's own cells themselves. Now, we don't know if that's really true, hasn't been confirmed, but make sure you stay subscribed to the channel and I'll continue to report on what happens with that technology, which sounds incredible. Thermal energy storage, true to its name, stores energy, stores energy as heat, a crucial function as society transitions to renewable sources like solar and wind, which are obviously very, very cheap to gather, but not so cheap to actually store. And obviously the reason being the weather's variable. Sometimes it's not windy. For example, in Texas, massive amounts of wind, wind energy is created by huge wind farms. But when it's not windy, that energy can be wasted. Other places where it's sunny, 80% of the world's population lives in the Sun Belt. But there are times when it's not sunny, such as the night. And that's when you need big batteries like these. Bren Miller is angling for this new Giga facility to be their primary production hub. And they plan to hit full capacity by the end of this year. We're Israeli. We're building technologies that can reach up to 1,400 Fahrenheit in the middle of the desert. Now, keep in mind, this is where no one lives. I mean, there's videos on YouTube saying, why is it that 99% of Australia isn't used for people to live in? Well, because of most of it is a desert. Same thing with many, many countries around the world. There are deserts, right? Where no one is using that land. It's used for literally nothing. Now the company says, we know a thing or two about harnessing heat from the desert. And we're ready to share that knowledge with the world. Brand Miller's thermal energy storage system called BGen can be charged in many ways. The company explained in a video that that solar, wind, the grid when there's excess supply, industrial exhaust gas, and sundry other sources of heat or electricity. I mean, for example, you can even charge it with any form of excess energy. It doesn't necessarily have to come from wind or solar. That energy is then stored in BGEN's storage medium, crushed desert rocks, according to No Camels, which can store the energy very efficiently as extremely high heat 
reaching temperatures of up to 1,382 Fahrenheit or 750 degrees Celsius. So it seems as though crushed desert rocks are very cheap, meaning this is one of the cheapest forms of battery storage anywhere in the world. Water piped through the system is heated by this energy and turned into steam, which can be accessed on demand. The Gigafactory, which is located on the Negev Desert city of Dimona, is expected to generate up to four gigawatt hours worth of BGen units when it reaches full capacity. That's enough to power potentially three million homes every single year. The future of the world is clearly not coal, it's not gas, it's renewable energy. Now, yes, we do need oil for certain things such as plastics production, but the majority of the energy we use now is being moved away from fossil fuels into renewable energy. Projects like this are one of the key reasons. On this channel, I like to report about all these kinds of different types of technology which frankly just blow my mind. There are so many things happening on a daily basis. In fact, these kinds of projects from all kinds of different companies are being launched all over the world this year. Let me know your thoughts in the comments and thank you for watching. Bye-bye.